Several European countries have banned airlines from entering Belarusian airspace after the forced diversion of a commercial flight. The Ryanair jet from Greece was ordered to land in Minsk, where an opposition activist was arrested. The interception has been labelled an act of aviation piracy, prompting the EU to threaten further sanctions on the country. This is the last image of Roman Protasevich, taken moments before he boarded a flight to Lithuania. He never arrived. Watch here the flight path of his plane. As it approaches the Lithuanian border, it's diverted to Minsk under orders from the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. It has provoked widespread condemnation. The scenario as reported is a shocking assault on civil aviation and an assault on international law. The Belarusian ambassador was summoned to the Foreign Office as flights were suspended and airlines told to avoid the airspace. One passenger sat near Roman told me he became agitated when the plane changed course. We've disguised his voice. When they announced that the plane is going to be landed in Minsk, he jumped from his seat. He went into a little panic. He said, what is going on? I can't land in Minsk. I can't land over there. You know, I'm going to get the death penalty. I'm going to be killed. Belarusian police arrested Roman Protasevich once the plane landed. There'd been suggestion there was a bomb on board. No devices were found. Roman Protasevich is a journalist and runs an anti-government blog called Nexta. He'd been accused of starting protests over the country's disputed elections. He was put on a wanted list and fled to Poland. Lukashenko's political rival, herself in exile, is extremely concerned. I'm sure that he's been tortured because he knows a lot of information. He was uh, a leader of uh, one famous uh, telegram channel about uh, civil society, about the situation in Belarus, and he's considered to be like private enemy of uh, Lukashenko. So we're really afraid not only for his freedom, but for his life. The Ryanair flight has now landed in Lithuania. The head of the airline believes KGB agents were on board. I think it's the first time it's happened to a European airline, but I mean, this was a case of state sponsored, it was a state sponsored hijack, it was state sponsored piracy. Um, but I, unfortunately, I can't say much about it because the EU authorities and NATO are dealing with it at the moment. Criminal investigations have started and questions now into how a holiday flight was hijacked and how far international leaders are prepared to go with their response.